dance for a brand team. Come on, come on, shake for a brand team. Dance for a brand team. Oh, my special guest inside the studio. Hey, how you doing? Nice to meet you. Mobile TV up in here, that's what's up. So look, this is the home, this is where it's at. This is where the magic happens. You know I mean? This is where the Afrobeat show is done. Right here, live and choice. Afrobeat with a plenty of London's choice. Hey, take over. Yeah, do your thing. I'm on the Yeah, this is where it's at. Woo! I've got a special guest in the studio right here with me. Uh, it's from Mobo TV. Say hello. Hi. Hi, <laughs> Introduce yourself. They don't want to know who you are. Me, I'm Tasha from Mobo TV. Tasha from Mobo TV. Have you been a radio presenter before, Tasha? No, but I'm a new co-host. Didn't they tell you? I'm my new co-host. Yeah, didn't they okay, tell you? Okay, all right, cool. So um, you got to introduce the next song then. What is the next song? <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> you ready? Let's go. Okay, guys. You just had Wiz Kids with Tease Me, and the next track we've got is Ice Prince. I like who. Your number one on urban station. They call me Ice Fresh. Jiggy Town, Bazzler, Jiggy Jiggy Hustler. This is London's Choice. <laughs> What's going on guys? I'm Tasha and you're watching Mobo TV and today we are at Choice FM and we're here with the lovely DJ Bunty. How you doing? I'm good. Thank you for coming down. Nice, fine. Thank you for having us. Okay, so let's take it right back to the beginning. When did you first know you wanted to be a DJ? Oh, when, um, um, when did I first know I wanted to be a DJ? Um, when I was in school and um, I used to hang around with um, one of my older cousins who used to sneak me into into the, the house parties back then. <laughs> I mean, well, I wasn't allowed to go out but because it, my dad and his dad were cool you know it was like he used to come and sneak me out and um, basically cut a long story short he was like in a sound sound system back in the day and he retired and I kind of collected or inherited as I like to say all of his vinyl so um, I kind of got the um, heads up with um, the vinyl collection which sort of put me on the first step to being a DJ but I was more kind of like got into the idea of promotion so I got the idea of like doing house parties as well charging people five pounds to get in so that was kind of like where it started so you was in like a little DJ collective like 90% was it yes yeah, yeah from that um, I joined a DJ outfit called 90% it was five of us all from Ghana um, and I was like just one of the guys who just wanted to be part of it and just part of the crew I had a 90% jacket on you know the t-shirt and I was just running around it was great I'm I, mean, I had the best time of my life joining 90% because it was just, you know, you were just kind of somebody got in the clubs for free, got all the girls, yeah, I mean, it was good. <laughs> Okay, so Afrobeats isn't one of the most popular music genres, but you've managed to secure it a regular slot on like one of the most mainstream radio stations. Well done for that. And so, could you just describe to us what Afrobeats is? Um, Afrobeats is, um, I would say, um, it could be described as African hip hop if you want to describe it as that, or I just describe it as music with feeling. I mean, Afrobeats has been around from before I was born, before my parents were born, and you know, from a guy called Fela Kuti, who's from Nigeria, he invented the Afrobeat. But prior to that, there's always always been African music, um, hip life, high life, Niger beats. So this has this been happening for a while. I mean, when I'm doing my Ghana independence events, where we've been playing hip life and high life, we've been getting three, four thousand people in the venues anyway. So it's always been there. So African music has always been there. Afro beats has always been there. All I did was um, repackage it and present it to the commercial market. And luckily, you know, God being good, they've accepted it. And that's how now it's been on choice. You know, when I when I initially approached um, the bosses of choice and said look I really want to do this Afrobeat show obviously they were like hmm, Afrobeat <laughs> yeah right whatever <laughs> I was like no 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 they said okay cool go and do us a demo and you know people think that oh because I work at choice I just you know got the show just like that it wasn't like that at all I had to put together a demo a proper demo which I spent days putting together and then present it to the bosses at choice and said look here's the demo this is what Afrobeat is all about and I've done it in a way as I would do my drive time show so effectively the only thing that was different was the music so I gave it to um, the boss at, at choice and um, I didn't hear from him. <laughs> I didn't hear from him. <laughs> and I didn't hear from him. <laughs> and then one day out of the blue, he, he, he comes to the, to, to, the, to, the, um, to, the, to the office and I'm sitting there and he goes, oh, Brent, you know um, that after the show that uh, you was talking about? I said, yeah, he goes, um, yeah, yeah, we'd like to do that. I said, oh, really? 
He said, yeah, yeah. I said, oh, that's great. Thank you. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, um, we'd we'll like to um, put it on this weekend. <laughs> and what day is it today? Thursday. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I was like, really? Like, wow, what happened? You, what, you got some kenke or you've been eating some fufu or you've been eating some African food somewhere that all of a sudden you want to do this Afrobeat thing. But I was like, all right, cool, you know what? Let me make it happen. So then, yeah, we, we launched the first show. I think it was in um, April, May. And it was amazing. I mean, it had choice trending on Twitter for the first time ever. You know, the um, response was, was awesome. It was just something out of this world and I think my bosses were a little bit surprised from the response even though I knew deep inside that it was going to be something real special um, but obviously you know when you've got an idea not everyone shares your idea until the idea is actually put out there so yeah it was it was an amazing response I just want to thank everyone for supporting the Afrobeat show because if it didn't get supported maybe I won't be speaking to you now <laughs> it's done so well like you said it's been trending on Twitter and it's gone from strength to strength and then obviously the tour, the radio, you've now really released the mix CD, yes. mixtape. Tell me a bit about that and your features on that. Um, the, the whole idea of the Afrobeat Mix Volume 1, um, it was um, me and my peeps sitting down and they, like, everyone always says to me, oh, Branty, why, why have you never done a mixtape? Because I've never ever done a mixtape and I just, I'm just about, you know, I'm always about the so what factor or like who cares at the end of the day there's loads of DJs out there and I respect all the DJs who do mixtapes put it up on SoundCloud or whatever it is and people download it and that's cool but for me I just think mm, so what like you know who cares do you see what I mean so I didn't want to do that and then the idea came over so why don't you do an Afrobeat mix um, CD and I thought okay that's, that's, that's the first point I can see why but then I said no if I'm gonna do it I want to do it properly so um I approached a, um, a local, well, an independent record label by the name of SRE and um, we had a meeting with them and I said, look, I really want to do this Afrobeat mix CD but I want to do it properly, I want to package it properly, I want to, you know, um, have it mastered properly, I want to put it out, not just online, but I want to put it out so people can see it and it'll be something that they could potentially buy in the shops. And so we sat down, they came up with a plan and SRE, you know, I got to thank SRE for supporting that dream as well because they really put a lot of effort into it. And then it was, it was born, the Afrobeat mix volume one which you can download on my website www.abranty.com um, <laughs> nice little plug <laughs> and yeah I mean it, 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 the response has been phenomenal I mean when I'm like touring around the UK and around the world and I'm giving them out people are just rushing like mad and everyone's like oh, I need one of these mixed CDs we need one of these mixed CDs and also some of the artists on there Whiskey, Ice Prince, P Square the band, um, I mean, they have all given me voice drops and supported it, as well as the UK artists as well. So I've got to big up to Chipmunk, Titchy Strider, Bashi, Lethal B, you know, all of them have like, when I rang them, I said, look, I need a drop for my Afrobeat mix volume. They're like, yep, yeah, boom, no problem, Brandy, send that over. So they've all been supporting it. So for me, I think that that was a real groundbreaking point, whereas to put out a mixtape that was unique and different to everything else, plus to get the support from the Afrobeat artists and the UK artists, which now, um, for give you some exclusive information, um, Rich32 has teamed up with an uh, Afrobeat artist called Sarkodir to do a tune. Chipmunk has also teamed up with Sarkodir to do a tune um, for the Afrobeats. Tinchy Stride is looking to do something. Lethal is looking to do something. So there's going to be a new wave of movement where UK artists are going to be teaming up with um, Afrobeat artists as well and obviously the band being signed to Kanye West you know so it's, it's a real big movement it's huge and you're with obviously Kanye has tweeted you Kanye from Mobo has tweeted you the excitement from it everyone's excited from it Twitter went crazy once again <laughs> so like you said over the last couple of years Afrobeat has grown amazingly the band with Kanye West and then you've had like the Mobo um, African Act as well award so shout out to Whiskey for winning the Mobo award which was great because I put, in, I put on an event called um, Afrobeats Festival at um, Hamilton for Polo and when I first wanted to do it people were like oh nah it wouldn't work it wouldn't work but I tell you what we had like 5,000 people in there and another 5,000 people outside trying to get in and Whiskey he came on stage and I've never seen nothing like it it was I think even he was like so shocked at the response and it just you know for him to win the mobile award as well I think it really just you know sealed the fame I want to thank Kanye as well for supporting that particular category because she's been doing that category for a long time now when people didn't really you know were, were interested per se in the African category but now I think this year when mobile happens a lot of eyes are going to be looking at that category okay so let's talk about you okay so you're a very well-known DJ you've I, you've helped 
host massive events for, like, for the likes of Rick Ross, which is huge. You're featured in programmes like Footballers Wives and The Bill. Is there anything you don't do or is there anything that you'd like, like to move on to do maybe? I think maybe one of my one of my um, missions is to present an award at the mobile. So. <laughs> hint, hint. <laughs> hint, hint. Black, black. Yeah, I mean, no, that would be a beautiful thing. Um, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just real. I'm just so. I've, I've, I think I've. Anyone that really knows me knows that I, I work very hard. Um, that's my be my ethos. So that's the, my, the the ethos that my parents have installed in me is that nothing comes to you easy. So I think I've worked really hard to kind of get where I am now. And I'm just glad that people have, you know, um, responded to it positively, and they've, you know, accepted me as as part of their, you know, their radio or their, you know, their TV or their their music, you know, because at the end of the day, it 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 kind of. Um, you put in a lot of hard work and if people don't accept it, you kind of think, oh man. But when people are accepting it and they're, you know, putting on events and two, three thousand people are coming and, you know, those type of things just go to, just, it's just a, a great feeling. It just goes to show that all the hard work that you put in has been for a purpose. So I'm just happy that people have supported it and I'll just keep, keep going and keep making the, the, the Afrobeat scene big, the, the radio big, the DJing big, you know, supporting the artists from the UK and Afrobeat and just you know just just keep doing this entertainment thing so how do you feel being such a huge such significant part of like the group Afrobeats like recognition you know I'm just honored that um, it's been bestowed upon me because to be honest it's um, I'm from Africa so that kind of helps and I, I I've been championing the music for a long time and for now to see it grow and be presented to the commercial market and being accepted by the mass audience not just from people from Africa but everybody else as well for me it's just a, a, a real great accomplishment and I'm just happy to be part of it and I'm happy that the scene is growing and growing and growing and you know end of the day it's, it's always a blessing when you're part of something when it grows and to be part of it from the beginning as well but you know I just want it to keep growing and keep growing and I want the, you know, the big boys to come and get involved in it and take it to that next level and you know I can sit back and say you know what I was part of that or I started this or I'm you know I was there you know so it's a good feeling. Sounds amazing. Okay so we're in 2012 it's a new year who do you have your eyes on to set to play this year? Right, from the UK Angel, who I've been sporting, sporting for a while, Margot as well, that I think them two is definitely their time to, to definitely get through. Um, in terms of the Afrobeat side, Ice Prince, he's another one, watch out for him. There's um, Castro, he's another one, Sarko These are all guys who are potentially going to team up with um, international acts, whether it be from the UK or from the US of A. But right now, the scene, the whole music scene is great because you've got the Afrobeat movement happening, you've got the UK artists who are doing their things like Angel and Marga and you know end of the day it's like it's a great time to be part of this scene it really is especially from the UK because previously it was always the US of A US of A US of A but we're getting bored of them no disrespect you know what I mean we like you guys but we've got our <laughs> yeah we've got our own thing going on here so it's definitely our time so yeah the UK is nice right now okay, okay so just to finish we've got a few random questions okay so Blackberry or iPhone Blackberry Nando's or Jet Chicken Nando's. Hot or cold? Hot. Sweet or sour? Sweet. Phone calls or text? Text. Be invisible or read people's minds for a day? Invisible. What would you do? Read people's minds. <laughs> <laughs> if you were the fairground ride, what would you be and why? A uh, roller coaster because I'm just full of excitement. <laughs> <laughs> if you were trapped in a woman's body for the day, what would you do? Um, try and get out. <laughs> <laughs> we're not all that bad, we're quite good to know. <laughs> Okay, does a drunk I love you can't? No. Have you ever said it? <laughs> <laughs> can't remember. <laughs> liar, liar. What is your weakness? Wow. Um, ooh. What is my weakness? Food, money, girls. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what is my weakness? You look under pressure now, you know. <laughs> Ooh, I need some air. Woo! <laughs> uh, what is my weakness? Food, money, um... Yeah, I think, I think I'm out, to be honest, with this one. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, pretty girls. I think pretty girls could be my weakness. <laughs> if you were stranded on a desert island with any female UK artist, who would it be? Um, any female UK artist. First one I think that comes to mind. Uh, does it have to be a, what, a, a, um, a singer or is, or anyone? You hear artists. Yeah, I think Alicia Dixon because she talks a lot. So yeah, entertaining. She's entertaining. We could talk, we could chat. She's bubbly. Yeah, I think Alicia. I give you a few dance lessons as well. Okay, who would you pick for the um, for prime minister? UK artist again. Dizzy Rascal. Let's get on Dizzy. <laughs> No one said that. That's, that'd be quite good. I had the last one, Snog Mario Avoid. Miss Brat, Princess Naya or Cher Lloyd? I would avoid Cher Lloyd. <laughs> um, Princess Naya, did you say? And who else, Miss Brat? Snog or Mary, right? I think I would marry Miss Brat, Snog Princess Naya. Nice. Okay, and where can the people catch up with you at home? Cool. Uh, Twitter is at DJ Branty. That's A B R A N T W. -E. Also, check out my website, www.branty.com. Good. And thank you so much for talking to us. You've been watching Mobo TV and go head to mobo.com for the rest of the interviews. See you next time.